Good morning. This is PJ. It is Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022. We're here for our daily lectionary reading. The lighting once again is a little bad. I'm going to have to change my location pretty soon. Psalm 56 is our psalm reading. Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 11 through 19 will be our Old Testament reading. And Luke chapter 19 verses 41 through 44 is going to be our New Testament reading. Let us take a look at the scriptures for the day. Psalm 56. Take my side, God. I'm getting kicked around. Stomped on every day. Not a day goes by, but somebody beats me up. They make it their duty to beat me up. When I get really afraid, I come to you and trust. I'm proud to praise God. Fearless now, I trust in God. What can mere mortals do? They don't let up. They smear my reputation and huddle to plot my collapse. They gang up, sneak together through the alleys to take me by surprise. Wait for their chance to get me. Pay them back in evil. Get angry, God. Down with these people. You've kept track of my every loss and turn through the sleepless nights. Each tear entered in your ledger, each ache written in your book. If my enemies run away, turn tail when I yell at them. Then I'll know that God is on my side. I'm proud to praise God. Proud to praise God. Fearless now, I trust in God. What? can mere mortals do to me god you did everything you promised and i'm thanking you with all of my heart you pulled me from the brink of death my feet from the cliff edge of doom now i stroll at leisure with god in the sunlit fields of life jeremiah chapter 1 verses 11 through 19 is our Old Testament reading. Stand up and say your peace. God's message came to me. What do you see, Jeremiah? I said, a walking stick. That's all. And God said, good eyes. I'm sticking with you. I'll make every word I give you come true. God's message came again. So, what do you see now? I said, I see a boiling pot tipped towards toward us. Then God said, Disaster will pour out of the north on everyone living in this land. Watch for this. I'm calling all the kings out of the north. God's decree. They'll come and set up headquarters facing Jerusalem gates, facing all of the city walls, facing all the villages of Judah. I'll pronounce my judgment on the people of Judah for walking out on me. What a terrible thing to do. And courting other gods with their offerings. Worshipping as god sticks they carved, stones they painted. But you, up on your feet and get dressed for work. Stand up and say your piece. Say exactly what I tell you to say. Don't pull your punches or I'll pull you out of the line up. Stand at attention while I prepare for you in your work. I'm making you impregnable as a castle, immovable as a steel post, solid as a concrete block wall. You're a one-man defense system against the culture, against Judah's kings and princes, against the priest and the local leaders. They'll fight you. But they won't even scratch you. I'll back you up every inch of the way. God's decree. And then our New Testament reading comes from the Gospel of Luke. Chapter 19, verses 41 through 44. When the city came into view, he wept over it. If you had only recognized this day in everything that was good for you. But now it's too late. In the days ahead, your enemies are going to bring up their heavy artillery and surround you, pressing in from every side. They'll smash you and your babies on the pavement. Not one stone will be left intact. All of this because you didn't recognize 
and welcome God's personal visit. And here ends our reading for the day. God's peace.